Welcome to Snoozer Storytime Adventure. How are we doing today, Snoozer? I am excited! Are you excited? Yes, because we are reading one of these stories. I wonder which one. Well, today we are going to be reading a book by Richard and Linda Iyer, and it is called Joy School. It is full of 22 different stories. Wow! I wonder which one we get to read. Well, I gotta find it, but I'm pretty sure it's one of the beginning stories. Ah, yes. It is called Ben, the Rich Boy. The Rich Boy? Does he look like a rich boy? Um, not really. He just looks like a, just a regular boy to me, but we'll find out all about Ben and the Rich Boy. All right, here we go. Once there was a boy named Ben. He was a strong and healthy lad, but he thought he was very, very poor because he had no money. When he saw people with money and fine things, it made him want to be rich. Ben knew that there were four very rich men in the land. One day he decided that he would visit each of them and ask them how to be rich. Do you know what rich means? Rich is like when you have a lot of money. Yes, that's what they generally say. If you're rich, you have a lot of money. So he is going to pick four of the richest people he's ever heard of in the land. And he's going to visit them and ask them, how did you get all the money? The first rich man lived in a valley in the eastern part of the land. He was an old man with a long beard. Ben asked him how to become rich. The old man looked at Ben and said, How did you get to my house? I walked all morning through the woods, across the stream, and over the hill, said Ben. Then you are rich, said the man. You are rich because you have strong legs. You can walk and dance and skip and jump and run. I am old and lame. I would give every penny I have if I could walk like you. Ben left the first man's house. He wanted to be rich. And if that man wouldn't tell him how, he would find someone else who would. So that's interesting. Why did the man think that Ben was already rich? Because, because he couldn't walk. That's right, the man couldn't walk. So he's saying you're rich because look, you can run and dance and, and do all kinds of wonderful things and that's all the man wants to do now, even though he has a lot of money. But the little boy doesn't have any money. Well, I guess we'll have to read on and see if he finds any money, but I think that man thought he's pretty lucky to be able to do what he does. The second man lived on a hill in the northern part of the land. Ben asked him how to become rich. The rich man said, Look out my window and tell me what you see. Ben looked out and saw beautiful red and orange autumn leaves on the autumn trees. He saw blue sky and purple snow-capped mountains in the distance. He saw a hummingbird drinking nectar from pink and gold hollyhocks. Those are big flowers. I love hollyhocks. He told the man what he saw. My eyes are old and tired, said the man. You are rich because of everything your eyes can see. And Ben wondered why the man wouldn't tell him what he wanted to know. So what did this man say? He doesn't have good eyes. That's right, to see all the beautiful things that our world has to see. <sighs> then Ben went to a third man's house, which was in the city of the southern part of the land. The man was out on his patio. Ben introduced himself and said, Would you tell me how to become wealthy? The man looked at Ben for a long time and then said, do you hear the crickets in my bush? Ben said, yes. Do you smell the food that is cooking in my house? Yes. Then you are rich. My senses are dim. I know the sounds and smells only because I remember them. I cannot taste or feel 
or smell or hear as clearly as you can. If I could sense the world like you, I would gladly give every penny I have. Again, Ben wondered why the man wouldn't tell him what he wanted to know. Wow, snoozer. Ah. Uh. What do you think about that? He can't taste, he can't smell. Oh boy, that sounds really, really sad. Yeah, makes you really appreciate what you have. Well, let's see what happens. The last man lived in a castle in the western part of the land. Ben went to him and said, You are my last hope. Will you tell me how to be rich? But you must be rich, said the man. Look at that fine shirt you wear. This, said Ben. I had to make this shirt with my own hands and sew it with the thread made from my sheep's wool. Then you are rich. Your hands can make shirts and paint pictures and play musical instruments. My hands are old and shake so much that I can do none of these things. If I could use my hands again, I would gladly give up all my money. Ben left the man and started to go home. None of the four men had told him how to be rich. All they had told him was that he was rich already because of his body and the things it could do. As Ben walked along, the sun shone warmly on his back and he heard the birds and the animals around him and he saw the flowers along the way. Perhaps he was rich. Maybe his body and the things it could do were worth more than money. But I thought you had to have a lot of money to be rich. Well, I think the moral, the lesson in this story is that you can be rich with just all the wonderful things that you have in your life and the things that you're able to do. And money doesn't buy happiness, you know, snoozer. Yeah, that does make sense. All right, well, I think I'd like to sing a song since we were talking about all those beautiful birds and flowers. I thought of one of my favorite songs. What is it called? It is called Bluebird, Bluebird. I just love Bluebird. So it's a song about a little bluebird, but you could keep singing it and add different colors and think of all the beautiful colors we have in our world. All right, so this song, you can just sing, and when you're singing it, you can pretend that you're flying all around, or there's a little game if you're playing with a whole bunch of people. You can hold hands, and one person gets to be the bluebird, and they get to pretend they're flying through the windows. As each of the hands are connecting, you fly under and around, and it's just a fun game to play. Cool, we should do that another time. Yeah, I think we should. All right, here we go, bluebird, bluebird. Bluebird, bluebird, through my window. Bluebird, bluebird, through my window. Bluebird, bluebird, through my window. Oh, Johnny, I am tired. Should we try red? Red bird, red bird, through my window. Red bird, red bird, through my window. Red bird, red bird, through my window. Oh. I'd love to go on and on with all the colors of the rainbow, but I thought it might be fun to make ourselves a bluebird. Yay! Yeah. All right, so I'm going to get that set and we'll start it right away. So these are the sheets we are going to need to make our bluebird. All right. Okay, so 
Wow, whoa. Well, just looking at this beautiful bluebird, it makes me appreciate all the beautiful colors we have in our world. Looking at you makes me appreciate them too because you've got the red and the yellow. So we see beautiful, beautiful colors all throughout our world and sounds and smells. It makes you kind of feel bad for people that, that can experience those things, right? I like this bird. He has big kahuna eyes. Certainly does. I have big eyes too. That's right. That's probably why when I looked over at you, Snoozer, I got reminded of your big, beautiful eyes. We all have something special about ourselves, right? And that is what makes you special. So I gotta say, Snoozer, I'm feeling very rich myself today. I'm feeling rich that I can create things with my hands and I can see beautiful colors and hear beautiful things and enjoy all the wonderful things our world has to offer. What about you, Snoozer? I feel rich that I have big eyes and I can see you really well. Oh, that's a great thing to be appreciative of. Well, I had a great time with you, Snoozer, and I'll see you and all our friends next time on Snoozer Storytime Adventures. Boys and girls, would you like to do the Mrs. Hamilton craft just like me? Guess what? You can! Head to your local library for all the materials that we use in the craft. Plus, we have activity sheets, games, and a whole lot more. Your library might even have their very own snoozer. Come and see me! Morris and Reeves Library Youth Services programs bring the fun this month. Our monthly calendar is color-coded by age and icon-coded by format. We have in-person, virtual, and grab-and-go programs made just for you. You and your toddler can enjoy in-person toddler time at the library on Wednesdays at 10 a.m. We also have in-person story time on Saturdays. Come to the library at 11 a.m. Checkers TV Snoozer Storytime Adventures is live. A month's worth of craft pages are available at the library. Enjoy Mother's Day Bilingual Storytime in English and en Espanol, available Monday, May 2nd. Our summer reading program is just around the corner. Our theme this year is Oceans of Possibility, so get ready for lots of fun and thematic activities. Virtual programs are open to all and are promoted through our Facebook group, Morrison Reeves Library Programs. Check out our wide collection of games and graphic novels, or spend some time finding just the right book. Visit Morris and Reeves Library Youth Services, either in person or virtually, for great books, programs, and much more. 